And once you donate blood, you also remove drop blood from other yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, like, like drawing blood. <laughs> uh, vampire. <laughs> then when you see the cadaver, mm. initially it's scary. But you're actually seeing the muscles, the veins, all this. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, what's your name and department? Emanuela Messina and Soldier 311. Wow, nice to meet you. Thank you. So quickly, just tell me, what is it like studying medicine and surgery in the university? Mm, um, it's a very wonderful experience, honestly mm -hmm. speaking, and it's quite ta challenging. Wow. Do you understand? And I thank God for seniors. Like, seniors really made okay. it very, very easy because they are going to put you through mm -hmm. each course, each um, subject, like each lecturer wants different things you get. Okay. Cannot apply the same strategy for physio in okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. and all of that. So. so there's this stereotype that those who study medicine and surgery, they are overly serious students. There's no time mm -hmm. to sleep. There's no time to eat. Is it true? No, it's not true. Okay. It's not true because my classmates are really involved in a lot of things. Politics. Okay. There was this, politi there was this um, election that happened last year mm. between um, for the OMSA president, okay, you yes. get. That is like the association yeah. for medical students. Yes. Yeah, that is the association, that is OMSA. So there were these two parties involved, and it was so hot that they were like, mm. this is more than SUG election. That look at your future <laughs> doctors. Who, like, yeah. and, and my partner is involved in a lot of things like sports, okay. parties, mm. picnics, wow. name it, anything. Even comedy, dance, and all of that. So. That is, that is surprising to you. So you are saying in a nutshell, uh, studying medicine actually gives you the opportunity to also do all that? Yes. Okay. So a question I want to ask now is why did you decide to study medicine and surgery? Why medicine? Okay. Um, I decided to study medicine and surgery because I will have the opportunity to meet a lot of people. Okay. Yeah. And when you meet people, you can be able to influence them. Mm. And when you influence people, you can make a world a better place. That was exactly the reason why. Okay. Yeah. You, you think medicine and surgery is still a lucrative course to study in Nigeria? Mm, no, I don't know. With the current state now, people are already like, you know, mm, they're like JP they're class, already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I think if you are lucky enough, mm. like to find, to work in a teaching hospital, okay. and you know this private hospital like Chevron, like all these yeah, oil companies. Hospital. Hospital. Yeah, I think you can, okay. can do well. Can an average student study medicine? Because most of the time when you hear medicine and surgery, those students will get 320 in their channel, like those very intelligent students. So can someone who is just like an you know what I mean by average students? Okay, um basically I've met friends who didn't even have up to 300 and they are very, very good. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Because this exam is not actually the best test of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. It may just be unfortunate that what you know. Do not come out, you get. Yeah. And one thing about medicine and surgery is that once you come to medicine and surgery, you have to debunk all the things you know. Okay. Like, it's like as you are starting from KG class. Afresh. Afresh. So, and you, everybody's going to be in the same level. Mm -hmm. But the people that were hot and people that, you know. <laughs> so, describe the typical day of a medicine student, like from your own activities, like by the time, from the time you wake up in the morning, what's the activity? Do you stay in class from morning to evening or something else? Okay, uh, no, we don't stay in class. We okay. don't have our classes, um, like the schedule is not that bad. Okay, our classes, like when you're in 200 level, okay. class start by 8 in the morning. In the morning, they end by, let's say, 11, some, no, 10. Mm. Ends by 10. But if there's practicals, now this is where the. Your stress and comes in, but it depends on your batch because they divide it, they divide the Pascal into different sections. So okay. if it's time for your session, not more than two hours. Okay. Those and so you should be home at least by three. By right, three. So for you now, like when like do you wake up in the morning, you go to classes. What do you do after classes? Okay. Well, I wake up in the morning by four. Mm -hmm. To my quiet time. Okay. Pray that is then try to study for like one. Uh, also, one hour 30 minutes. Then I must be in school by 7.30 sharp. Sha okay. Sha because once you get to the door, you have to hustle for front seats. Yeah, yeah. It's very typical of Nigerian <laughs> universities. Yeah. Yeah, so after hustling for front seats and after the um, class, if there's no practical, I can just decide to go to the library. Okay. I stay in the library till 6. Mm -hmm. It's 5.36. Then from there, I go home. Then if I want to do any chores, like cook, like my cook. Now, some people don't cook, but I okay. cook. Okay. Cook. Yeah. Wash my clothes, come online on WhatsApp, Get love this, yeah. view status, then mm. I sleep. Once it's eight, I sleep. 
Okay. Then I wake up by 12, pray for an hour, then start reading to four. Like that. Oh, That's how. That it depends on the class. The I'm in MV class, so these are my schedules okay, yeah, for yeah. now. It, it, sounds, it sounds stressful already. So, uh, medicine, is this something if you could go back in time, you still apply to study medicine? Yes. So, what has been your most interesting you know, moment so far? In medicine? Yeah, hmm. being, being a medicine student. Okay, the most interesting moment is the practical. Okay. The practicals are very awesome because you are applying what you've learned. Okay. There was a time that they were like, okay, we are going to do a, a an experience with the blood. I need volunteers that will donate blood. Mm. And once you donate blood, you also remove draw blood from other yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, like, I like drawing blood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, vampire. <laughs> no, no, not really. Well, but it's interesting. Like... Yeah, it's just like you are fantasy what you are doing. <laughs> then when you see the cadaver, mm. initially it's scary. But you're actually seeing the muscles, the veins, all these things. Yeah, and yeah, it's... Yeah. Like those things in the test, we can actually see See them, them yeah, life. that's why it's very easy. Like, medicine is one of the easiest course to study, to be honest, because okay. it's not abstract, it's something you can see. Practicalize, yeah, it can practicalize, you can feel, touch, and okay. So, so far, what has been the challenges in the College of Medicine for you? Mm, just the classes, okay. like, they are not they are not enough seats, okay. Like, it's like really the learning environment is not yeah. that. It's not conducive. conducive. Okay. It's not conducive. Like Lastly, what word of advice do you have for a student out there that, that is applying to study medicine in any of the universities in Nigeria? Okay, I will tell them that first they should not be scared. Okay. You can put your, you can get anything if you put your heart and your mind to it. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And once you get medicine, please hold on to it. Don't, don't, just have a vision that, okay, I want to, it's good to have a vision. For instance, maybe like for a second MB, can I, say, okay, I want to have three distinctions okay. in anatomy, physio, and biochem. So that vision will help, will help you to run, to study. You meet the right kind of, that vision can be, meet the right kind of persons yeah. that will help you. You have the right kind of questions. Yes. But if you just come aimlessly, guy, you just waste your time. And, and just be on your own, like, you, you need medicine. Like, See, medicine, you don't, you don't need to stay on your own. You need people. <laughs> you need guidance. You need guidance. It's very, very important. Very, very important. Okay. So how do you, how do you handle finance as a student? You use that, is it like you have a side hustle or maybe you rely on your family and parents? Uh, for now, I'm my parents, but okay. I'm lucky. Okay. I have friends that can just say, okay, send your account number okay, and send okay. something. But do you know any of your classmates that are involved in side hustle? Yes. And it's something they've been able to combine? With yes. School. Like, I know some people that are into tech. Okay. Web development, like, they are very good and they are earning a lot of money from it. Wow. I this, yes, and they made to... Ah, if you go to my class now, there are a lot of people with cash, like, and it's their money, and yeah. it's not in any illegal way, okay. illegal way, I mean. So. They are legit ballers. Legit, <laughs> like, if you want. Some of them even into comedy skits. Wow, that is nice. So, you can, yeah, that's true. All right, thank you very much. It's nice to have you with us this afternoon.